We'll call the May 4th meeting of the Marsh County City Council in order, and we'll open with our invocation in place, uh, led by Council Member Al Ayer. Hey, uh, Jerry, about agenda items that any member of the uh, audience may have. The uh, uh, comments are uh, limited to three minutes. Please introduce yourself by name and address. The floor is now open. Hearing none, we will close this portion <laughs> of the meeting. And we have a couple of public hearings today. Uh, first is Ordinance 3686, the Ordinance of the City Council of Morristown amending Title 10 of the Municipal Code pertaining to the Farmers Market. As you indicated, this is an update of the section re re regulating the Farmers Market. The major change is reflecting the uh, change in operation of the Main Street program from the crossroads to the chamber. Uh, otherwise, it's fairly technical and, and, and minor in nature. We recommend approval. We uh, have the public hearing portion, and uh, the anyone who wishes to uh, speak on this item, the floor is now open. See no one come forward, we'll close the uh, public hearing portion, and I'll entertain a motion that this ordinance be adopted. Motion is centered. Can we have a second? Any questions or comments by the council? Hearing none, let's vote. That motion carries. The uh, next public hearing is Ordinance 3651.04. .04. This is an ordinance to amend Ordinance 3651 of the city in the annual budget for this year of 2020 2021 and to appropriate additional funds totaling $274,000 for the design contract with Matter and Craig for the improvements at East Morris Boulevard and Thompson Creek Road. And the uh, floor is now open for comments in this public hearing. Seeing no one come forward, we close the public hearing. I'll entertain a motion that uh, we adopt. So, motion Pedigo. Do we have a second? Okay. We have a second. Any questions or comments? Tony, did you have any comments? I cut you off there, but uh, any council member? Uh, well, we have a chance to, as we talked about before, discuss the how it will come over on the park if it will come over on the park before they start the, the design. The design is not, we've not gotten any feedback at all from the, the engineer until we get the money appropriated. He's really not started work, but we'll uh, we'll be happy to bring him before council when he has some, some additional thoughts. Thank you. Any other comments? We've done it three or four times already, but we'll bring her back again and see if we can't get it right this time. Are we ready to vote? <clears throat> Let's vote. And the motion carries. Uh, we have several awards of bids and contracts. First, the approval of the contract with Merle Burglar Alarms for a monthly service fee of two ninety eight forty four. This is for the impound lot alarm system. Uh, this is necessary for the relocation of the impound lot to the new public works compound area. It is a reasonable price. We recommend approval. Do we have a motion to this recommendation? 
Motion to build it. I guess the human did. I don't know. We have a second. Any questions or comments? This is the annual maintenance. Here, oh. Glenn, let's vote. I'm not the service fee. That's right. And that motion carries. Next is the approval to declare inventory items as surplus from the Public Works Department and to properly dispose of it. Uh, this equipment is acquired in stored at Lloyd Widener. It's largely copiers and printers that are out of date. Again, we think that we, we can still get some uh, response putting it on gut deals. That's our recommendation. We recommend you declare a surplus. Do we have a motion to this recommendation? Motion Smith. And we have a second. Any questions by the council? Hearing none, let's vote. And that motion carries. Next is <coughs> the approval to declare inventory items a surplus from the IT department and to dispose of it properly. Uh, this again is, is equipment that's been accumulated over the years. It's, it's now out of date. It's an assortment from monitors, printers, and, and, and CPUs. Uh, Pavel has gone through and, and declared this no longer usable and would recommend uh, selling it at uh, gut deals. So we recommend it. The, the declaration is surplus. We have a motion to the recommendation. Motion A, her. We have a second. We have a second. Any questions or comments? Here you done. Let's vote. And that motion carries. Next is the approval of the fiscal year 21-22 Community Development Block Grant or the CDBG Annual Action Plan. This is a part of your overall annual budget consideration. It is a preliminary approval, but we need to do that to get it to the federal government. It will be included in the proposed budget that you'll see here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we would recommend approval as, as presented. We have a motion to accept that recommendation. So, motion A, Herman. <clears throat> and we have a second. We do have a second. Questions or comments on this one? Hearing none, let's vote. And that motion carries. Next, the approval order of purchase order number 21002200 to Wilson County Motors, the amount of $52,993.60 via statewide contract 209 is for the purchase of two 2021 Chevrolet Colorado work trucks for the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, these are budgeted pieces of equipment. We have adequate funds. We recommend approval. Is there a motion to that recommendation? Move for approval. Motion to center. Is there a second? There is. Do we have any questions or comments? Hearing none, let's vote. And that motion carries. Next is the approval of memorandum of understanding between the City of Morristown and the Rotary Noon Club and the Rotary AM Club related to the splash pad at Morristown Landing. Uh, this agreement, the, the two clubs have uh, come together to make a very sizable donation to the construction of the facility. I think it would be an excellent addition to the, uh, the overall design and we appreciate the community support. We would recommend approval. Is there a motion to accept that recommendation? Mm -hmm. Motion Smith. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Uh, before we ask for any questions or comments, we want to recognize some representatives from the Rotary Club here with us. Uh, Gordon Lance is with us. And, uh, and besides you, pull that mask off. I can't quite tell who that Paul Bell is here as well. So, uh, uh, Rotary has made some significant uh, contributions to our Parks and Recreation uh, program through the years. And we certainly appreciate that as well as this one. Are there any other comments from the council before we vote? We just very much appreciate your investment in our community, your continued investment in our community. Thank you. Are we ready to vote? Let's vote. And that motion is approved. Next, we have the uh, city administrator's report. I'll be very brief in light of it's election night, and we've tried to keep the, the agenda brief. We have no work session following the meeting, so we'll be able to get out here in a few minutes. Just a couple of reminders that. Uh, on uh, May 10, we will be scheduled for the sine die meeting. That is where we close the business of the current council, seek the new council following the election, and certify the election. That will be on May the 10th. May 14th at 9 a.m., we'll begin work in earnest on the uh, budget with a presentation that will be at the Public Works facility 
and uh, that should take about two hours if, if history serves to be, be correct. So uh, we've got a lot of work yet to do. We'll, we wish everyone uh, good luck with the election tonight, and uh, that will conclude our report. And we open the floor for any comments that anybody from the audience may have about council items or city items that believe needs to come to the council attention. Uh, again, you have three minutes to uh, voice your views. Uh, please introduce yourself by name and address. The floor is now open. Steve, anybody coming from across the way? No. See no one coming. We will uh, close this portion and uh, open up any comments from uh, council members. Mayor, I'd like to uh, extend the invitation for tomorrow, May 5th. That is the Women's Suffrage Program. It's going to be at the Women's Clubhouse on First North Street. That will be at 2 o'clock. And we have the speaker, Ms. Shovletsky, from Knoxville, who will be speaking about women's suffrage. So I mentioned before, we just found out through the DAR research that this building was where Laura Price lived. And Laura Price was one of the women who started the women's suffrage movement in Morristown. So you're welcome to attend 2 o'clock. We should be finished by, should be about an hour. So look forward to seeing whoever can attend. It's open to anybody who would like to attend. 2 o'clock, women's clubhouse is on, on first door. Tomorrow, the 5th. All right, anyone else? <clears throat> I want to call attention to Friday, uh, the first of our summer concert series at uh, the uh, uh, downtown on the Green. Uh, the uh, concert and uh, event uh, begins at 7, runs from 7 to 8.30. There'll be food, so come uh, with your appetite and your bill fold. So, uh, again, uh, election night, good luck to the incumbents. And uh, if there are no other items to come before the council, I'll entertain a motion to be adjourned. So, Okay, Tom. We need to make an amendment that all council meetings should have the same time, no longer than 10 minutes.